before you onboard to Sage HR through Sage 50 Cloud Payroll, following the steps in our guides, we want to take you through some key steps you need to follow before you start. They include some important advice for best practice, which will make your onboarding easier and help prevent problems going forward. Let's start with step one, get your employee data ready. During one of the steps in setup, Payroll will push through employee payslips to Sage HR and create new records for each employee in Sage HR. Payroll sends through four key pieces of information. First name, last name, email address, and start date. If you want to enter more information into Sage HR, you can run a report from Sage 50 Cloud Payroll and manually enter it into Sage HR later. For example, here we are running an employee details report, which shows some useful information we can use to enter into Sage HR. Step two, employee work email addresses. The email address is permanently set in Sage HR once it has been pushed through from payroll. So we strongly advise using an email address the employee wants to use long-term. We always recommend using a work email address instead of a personal email if possible. Also, it is essential you follow these steps. Ensure the email addresses in the employee record in payroll are accurate and up to date. Email addresses are unique for each employee. Don't use duplicate or shared email addresses. Email addresses are case sensitive in Sage HR so ensure they are all lowercase. A handy tip to help you with employees and their email addresses is to send out the employee details verification letter. You can give the verification letter to your employees to confirm or update any details you hold about them, including their email address. To run the report, just open reports and it's in the employee section. Step three, admin user email address. A Sage ID is required for each user who needs to log in and use Sage HR. The person who first sets up Sage HR through payroll is known as the admin user and has full access. It's also important to note the following. Make sure you get the admin email right first time as it can't be swapped with another email or recreated. Don't delete the admin user. You can only have one admin user and it is the only profile that can view all payslips. The email address used for the admin profile must not be used in an employee record in payroll. The email needs to be unique to the admin user and must not be used elsewhere in payroll. We recommend you have a means to ensure you can access this profile in the event of the admin user being unavailable. The admin user also has a profile in Sage HR alongside your employees and can be viewed in the company directory. As you can see here, the admin profile looks different to your employee records as it displays the email address for the admin profile rather than a name. 